Hey, my friends! So this is it. This is the third or the fourth, I guess, the fourth episode on the Perfect Webinar. So you want to learn about the close, how to actually get people to buy your stuff. And we're going to talk about the close in the Perfect Webinar. I'm also going to explain to you a little bit more what the Perfect Webinar is in case you missed the other episodes. But we're going to talk about how to get people to finally buy your stuff on your webinars you're going to do webinars you're doing webinars and you're like why is nobody buying and we're going to explain how that works and why that's like that and what you can do to fix that and check out this hair no gel the this it looks all so yellow it's the lighting there's something wrong with this this light let's just change that look at that that's I don't know if that's any better but anyways so yeah we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so if you're listening to the audio make sure you go check out the the video at cis264.jsgunning.com cis264 to <laughs> whoa what happened there that's not right that doesn't look right that's not 243 how did that become 243 let's fix that but it's uh, cis264.jsgunning.com unless I'm completely off that's right 264 let me actually fix that over here this is I don't understand how that happened but it's 264 264 and so cis 264.jsgangon.com cis 264.jsgagnon.com to go watch the video and read the blog post about this super important topic so let me just share my screen here and I'm gonna get whoops I got the wrong uh, wrong thing here let me just share the screen so yeah so we're going to be talking about the perfect webinar and in the perfect webinar it's basically outlined by the way this is taught by Russell Brunson you can find out more about the perfect webinar by going to perfectwebinarsecrets.com where you can get all this training that I've gone through to learn at your own pace but I'm just kind of going through it based on that because I'm doing webinars every Tuesday and I want to make my webinars perfect webinars myself so what I did I started doing an intro I talked about the intro there's there's five pieces to the intro where he talks about all this I explained that in the episode from two days ago so you can go check that out and then I talk about the content right the content in the perfect webinar is the is the is what you want to teach right it's what you want to what you what you want people to to buy right is well I guess you're not selling the content because it's a free part but it's the it's what's meant to get people to buy your stuff right and this is where you break and rebuild the belief patterns and then there is the close the close is all about the stack and the different closes and one of the one of the challenges I guess that we have as entrepreneurs is that we often feel like I don't know I don't want to be a sleazy salesperson I don't like trying to sell anything so then when you get to this part in your webinar you're like feeling like you're doing something wrong and you shouldn't be doing it and people will think you're just there to make money and whatever right but the thing is that you have to stop and think to yourself what is it that you're doing this for if you're doing it for yourself and you just want to make money then yeah you're probably that's probably why you're feeling that way right but you really gotta change your mindset you're not you gotta you and it's not about it's not about you know changing something it's about really believing it really making it like that really making it because you're doing this for them you're doing it for them if they don't if they don't buy your thing <laughs> they're gonna continue to suffer or or fail the way they've been failing you have to believe that you're doing them a favor if they buy your thing you're doing them a favor by selling it to them by making their life better by making their results happen faster by making their <coughs> their accomplishments matter right so you got to have that mindset where what you're selling isn't 
to make you money it's to make them have success make them achieve whatever goal it is so you know in the in the other episodes we talk about I talk about the one thing right we talk about the one thing what is it that that you are putting together why are you putting this thing together what is the one thing that that they need for their <laughs> you know what's the what's the one thing what's the reason for the webinar why are they on there what is it that they're going to get out of your webinar right and um I listened to more training after doing the episode from yesterday and one of the things that I realized is that the three secrets they're not that's the thing they're secrets but they're not secrets in the sense that they're the real purpose of these is what are the three things holding them back right now right time money um uh, what else uh, knowledge of technology right so in my case doing the omnipresence like Gary V becoming omnipresent like Gary V right in my in my case is this right be omnipresent that's the one thing for me how to be be omnipresent on social media like Gary V without hiring a team of 30 and spending crazy hours every day so what are the three the three secrets for me right the three secrets for me is I don't have time to do this I don't have the you know it takes so long I don't have time I don't I you know there's so much other stuff to do <coughs> I don't have time so I gotta that's the secret number one would be it doesn't take that long to do these assets right so that's secret number one to to break down their belief that they don't have time right number two is I don't have the money to hire a team of 30 people that's the second belief right they don't have the money to hire a team of 30 people and what do I do the secret is it doesn't take a team of 30 you can do it yourself in just a few minutes a day so that's the secret and that's to disprove the fact that they need a team of 30 they need a lot of money to hire a team of 30 so you kind of show them how they can do it in just a few minutes a day and they don't need to hire anybody they don't need the money that's number two number three I'm not technical I don't it's not I it's I always struggle with all the technologies the tools and everything else that's number three that's the third thing that is holding them back from using something like my platform so I'm gonna have the secret of you don't even need to be techie all you need is to click a button right so I'm going to show them how they can just click a button to get all the assets done right so those are the three secrets in my case right my my three secrets in the content so okay so now let's get to the close right the close is getting to that so basically you're going through first of all you're in, you're introducing you're going through these things and like I said if you want to know more about that go to the previous episodes where I talked about the intro in the webinar and you're going through that then you're going through your content your one thing you're going through your three secrets you're explaining how those three secrets are um are are not you know how they're gonna not have the not how do I how do I put this you're going through the three secrets to disprove their belief patterns right to to re break and rebuild their belief patterns right that's what it says right here break and re rebuild their belief patterns you're making it so that they're like well oh okay I guess I do have the time oh well I guess I don't need the money yeah oh I guess it's not that complicated so they you're breaking their patterns you're breaking their beliefs you're making them realize that what they believed is actually not a problem it's not true they don't need so that's where you get into the close and and this is the part that's the uh that's the 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 the, the making it easy to get into the close is you got to ask them you got to ask them is it okay that I show you something that I put together so that you can actually achieve this I mean you know sure I'm selling you something but but I but I but I, it it's gonna allow you to well maybe you don't say that I don't know that, that anyways those are the things that I still I still struggle with a little bit but I have done a couple of webinars where I actually asked this I just say can I you know isn't this all so cool wouldn't you just love to be able to do that so by the way those are trial closes where you're asking a question where the answer is yes that's making them say yes right so by and and by the way you want to be doing that throughout your presentation if you can you know when you're saying your secret number one for example in my case right my secret number one I don't have the time to do this and I explained to them that it takes not very much time I can be asking things like that isn't that awesome how fast that is wouldn't wouldn't you just love to be able to do your content so quickly just 
just using uh, automation isn't that the best way to do things so those are all a bunch of questions that answer yes right obviously if they say no well whatever you don't want them but the, the assumption is that they're going to believe that they're going to love it they're going to think it's awesome so you're doing trial closures throughout your webinar and then you go to the this transition over to the sales after you're done your presentation talking about the three secrets and how how they <laughs> they don't need to believe these things and how they can they can accomplish more by going through this then you go and you just you, you can just say can I ask you a question can I show you something that will actually allow you to do this is it okay that I I actually put something together I'd like to show it to you just take a few minutes to show you that and then you wait in your webinar you just wait you just wait for them to say yes in the chat and you don't you don't move on until they say yes right and if nobody answers then you can just add something like well okay well I guess it doesn't matter to me I don't have to show you this you know we we can be done right now but uh, would you like me to show you and then usually they'll all at least a few people will say yes yes go ahead go ahead right so the thing is that that gives you permission to try to sell them right if you ask them and they say yes then you're you're allowed to, to to sell them to try to sell them something they know that that's what you're doing anyways right but if you're asking them permission it's making it okay to to try to sell them right okay so then there's two really important things in the um in the um <clears throat> in your close right it's basically your conclusion so one of the things that Russell and lots of other leaders teach is the stack the stack is <coughs> is basically when you're it's it's the idea is that apparently and I I think I can attest to that myself but human beings are have a short time a, a t short attention span right we 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 just a few seconds and we forget what we what we just heard a few seconds ago right and we just it just we, we're focused on things we don't remember everything so what happens is if you do a presentation with your product with your thing that you're selling and all that and you talk about you know feature number one you talk about feature number two feature number three feature four you know bonus three bonus two whatever <clears throat> and then at the end you reveal the price right you reveal the price right here you will end up people will end up thinking well the, whatever that last thing you said is it worth that price and that's how they're going to decide whether they want to buy or not they're going to decide whether they want to buy based on the last thing they saw so if you have if you're trying to sell a weight loss program right where you have for example you have a checklist you have a uh, coaching uh, sessions that you have with them you have a mastermind group you have a uh, maybe even you send them a book right let's say you send them a book <coughs> that you bought that you're sending them for free right and that book was I don't know was 10 bucks right and you tell them that's your last bonus you say and I'm also even going to include a book that I'm going to send you for free you it's just part of the whole package and the package is a thousand bucks now that package includes the checklist the mastermind the coaching calls the the follow-up or the, the the whatever you know uh, what's the what's called the, the um, uh, accountability calls and this book right so all that is like I don't know maybe it's like 20 hours of your time so definitely it's it's worth a thousand bucks right if you're a, a, a well-known and you get results and they they know you do and all that right but at the end you say I and I'm including this book and that's your last slide right it's just your book the book is 10 20 bucks they're not going to spend a thousand bucks because they're going to see the book and they're going to be just like they kind of forget the rest even though you just told them they kind of forget it and their brain connects the book with the price that's basically how the human mind works 
and that's why using the stack is how you want to be presenting it so for example over here you're going to say I'm going to include a checklist that you can follow every single day you just print it out every day and you go through your checklist every day and you just check off okay I did this I drank my water I I drank I ate my my snack in the morning I did this I did that I did my exercise you know whatever your checklist is right for weight loss and healthy eating and whatever the the, the thing you're selling right so you got your checklist and then you talk about your checklist you know my my students that never had the checklist before that they say the checklist really helps them and it's amazing and they they love it and they follow it every day and they they're getting results just because they can kind of keep track and on there their weights on there they're this and they're their 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 <laughs> their waist uh, uh sizes on there the paint size or whatever they write there all this stuff it's all there and they can keep track and they can tell and they love it and that's that's the checklist all right so then when you get to the second part which is I don't know maybe you're you're going to include a mastermind group or or a accountability group on Facebook or on some other platform you're going to say okay um so now the, and the checklist is worth you know 50 bucks let's say or 100 or well whatever right let's say 50 bucks then you're going to say okay and then we're going to include also for free you're going to be part of this mastermind group normally we charge ten dollars a month but you're going to have it for free <laughs> it's going to be included and that's worth 250 and uh and so in that stack you're going to have your checklist your group right so you're going to have both of those in your slide and then you're going to talk about the mastermind group you're going to talk about what the benefits are or the the, the accountability group whatever you're going to talk about it you can give examples of people saying how they love it what they what they got out of it and things like that. you talk about it right that's what this little person is there then of course you go to the third one where you're going to say and I'm going to include 20 coaching calls with me so where you and I we get to know each other and I I find out what your pain points are what your struggles are and I help you to to get beyond that and to figure out how to how to you know improve yourself and and we just go to go to town on your mindset and on your and on your routines and we you know we talk about all that and we're doing that every single I don't know three days we have a coaching call right it's an hour long and we talk about your results and we do that and that's worth at least you know I don't know let's say it's 20 and you charge 150 an hour that's what that's 20 that's two that's 2000 no, 1500 that's 3000 bucks so that's worth 3000 right so now you have your checklist your mastermind group and your coaching calls and then you talk about your coaching calls you talk about how their coaching calls have helped those and you talk about some testimonials maybe you have and you talk about you know other things and whatever right and then you add on your free book right this book is the book that everybody is you know loving this book I didn't write this book but you know what I bought a thousand copies and I'm sending it off to anybody who joins my program for free it's just included in there you know that book is maybe worth 20 bucks right so you put that 20 dollar in there you add it all up and you say this is all worth you know 25 or what did we say let's say it's all worth 3,000 or whatever it adds up to some number this is all worth three thousand bucks so you know that's that's and then you talk about the four things and maybe you talk a bit about the book and you know that's kind of what that's kind of how you build the stack right at the end you come up with the value what it's worth and you got to make sure that people you know believe in that value that's why you talk about the different things as long you go and uh, the other thing is there's if you notice down here there's closes right so as you talk about these things you use these different closes now I'm not the expert on the closes this is all Russell Brunson's and I mean it, it's industry stuff but still he goes through all these closes in his training but the thing is that you know it's like your two choices right so my when I'm doing the webinar when you're doing the webinar you're going to have two choices you can tell them I either could sell it for the cheapest possible this whole thing I could reduce the price to as low as I could to sell as many as I could but you know then I couldn't really help you because there wasn't enough to cover some additional cost of man of helping you right or I could sell it a bit higher price but really give you the 
the the help you need really have the ability to help you with the way I want <coughs> so that's the the two choices your two choices close uh he actually gives examples I don't know if I if I have that here let me just show you <laughs> right here if I go into his uh, presentation right here let's turn the sound off but he's no not this one actually this training here what this training here he talks about the two closes I think actually right in here no not here is that it here oh there you go see that's exa exactly right so I had two choices so he says I had two choices right first option go cheap as possible and try to sell as many as possible you know whoops I'm, I'm not I didn't pause it sorry about that okay so there okay so you know it wouldn't in incentive it wouldn't incentive incentivize me to really stack the value right if I if I go as cheap as possible right I'll sell more but maybe I won't be able to really help you that much second option is requires a little high investment on your part but in exchange I can devote more resources to guarantee your success so that's the my well the the seller's choices right then we have the other one which is now you have two choices so there are two choices which is the choices of the attendee at the webinar right first option you do nothing and not take this leap of faith which is 100 percent risk-free and the second option is pony up this small investment today compared to all the value you'll get in return it and just give it a shot if I can't make you money then don't I don't deserve yours so basically he's kind of this is an example for one of the funnels he did or the webinars he did and that's you know that's that's how he does that's how he does these two these two closes right and you can do lots of them and he talks about putting them within your even within your content within your stack when you're talking about your stack and then and then he talks about actually when you're done you have this if all statement let's just is there any is that in here no no that's not it does he talk about the if all Is that the if all? Maybe it is. Let's see what he says. Hold on. I don't want the first option to do nothing. I want the second option that's. Uh, no, that's not it. There's a there's an if all. So the if all statements, right? He says you put three if all statements <coughs> in there. So your three if all statements would be things like if all this did was allow you to lose that 20 pounds that you've been trying to lose forever and and you just that's all it did wouldn't it be worth three thousand right wouldn't you be happy with your lost pounds if all this did and that's number one right number two if all this did was you know help you sleep better help you feel better help you you know figure out a way to keep track of your stuff and become you know super effective at keeping track of where you are and where you're going wouldn't that be worth it right so you gotta obviously it has to be things that would be worth it and tell people that and, and then that's when you tell them the lower price you say you know I'm not going to charge you three thousand bucks it's only 225 today for all this so that's and then you know when when you've gone through all this and you've gone th done the FOs and you've done your 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 closes and you've done all these different things when you get to that crazy low price which by the way when you're building your stack you should be putting together uh, items that bring up the value to 10 times the price you want to sell it at so it should be there should be a 10 times difference right that's kind of what you should be doing that's what you should be aiming for is a 10 times value difference and so that's what the the, the call to action uh at the end is right so once you have the call to action once you've gone through all your stack and you've gone through all your clothes and by the way I'm going to be doing that in my webinar on Tuesday this coming Tuesday so if you're listening to this and you'd like to and you'd like to join in on the webinar you can actually go to uh, two hourworkday.com and you can actually join that webinar 
just register just you know you don't obviously it, you can come in to 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 see what I'm actually offering but just going in to see how how I'm progressing with this perfect webinar because I'm going to be doing that every week I'm going to be improving it every week and anytime you go to that webinar you can actually go see my progress right my progress of uh I'm gonna have I'm not gonna be making the the replays public necessarily but I'm probably gonna be keep keeping them so that later on when I'm starting to get some really really good results because right now I'm getting you know the first webinar I had like a 50 percent show up rate I didn't make any sales uh on the second time my computer crashed it didn't well no that's not true it didn't crash the second webinar after 30 minutes of talking and explaining and going through it I realized I wasn't live. I wasn't live so I didn't even and I was like why is nobody commenting because I was saying hey let me know where you're from and this and that I was actually asking people to comment and nobody was commenting and then the number of attendees was going down 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 and I was like why is I guess they don't like this presentation it's not what they thought it was and then eventually there was nobody after about 30 minutes there was nobody there's zero attendees I'm like well maybe I just cancel this this week right not worry about it and then I realized that I wasn't even live so I was like oh, oh my god okay I guess that's why nobody was commenting and they all left because they there was nothing there <laughs> so anyways that's my number two number three I actually implemented the uh the intro I implemented the intro I I started work on the content but I never finished really so my and my stack wasn't really you know wasn't that great so next week I'm actually going to be finishing up the content and maybe hopefully getting the stack or some of the stack done but I'm still not going to be great on all the closes and everything. so it's, it's a work in progress right so if you want to go check that out you want to see how this progresses and you want to see the kind of uh kind of anyways for me it's the webinar is about the um like I said it's the um uh where am I over here it's the show you that right here uh actually I have that right over here right there uh it's actually this fella here no this fella here yeah so this is the webinar that I'm doing how to be omnipresent on social media like Gary V without hiring a team of 30 and spending crazy hours every day so that's the webinar I'm doing and you can see how I put together the perfect webinar within that or how I use the perfect webinar within this I'm actually going to get it improved as you can see right here it's it's uh, these are the slides right there I mean um it's it's not perfect yet but it's going to get better over time I'm going to actually make it better over time and then you know I'm hoping that you can give me feedback too right give me feedback send me messages back tell me whether you thought it was close or what, where you think I'm missing things or whatever I'm looking super excited to get feedback on my on my process right on whether I'm doing the perfect webinar or not so that's the that's the two hour workday.com and that's the perfect webinar so I mean that's the thing right so once you have the perfect when you once you have your intro and your content and your secrets then you ask them a question you got to ask them a question before you start talking about your clothes and if you get if you ask them the question right if you ask them there it's going to be okay to sell them to talk to them to, to try to sell them something right so that's basically what this is all about the perfect webinar the intro the content and then the let me ask you a question with the closes and the stack right that's what it's all about the intro content and the let me ask you a question all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions on this or any other content that I create go ahead and reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.